Hey everyone, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, also part of the Yaosh Network, and today I'm bringing you our very first PlayStation Vita game review. This game is called Tales from Space, Mutant Blobs Attack, and it's brought to us by Drinkbox Studios. Now, the story of this game follows a normal 2D platformer, kind of very shallow and just kind of out there, which I love. But the story is that you're a blob, and you're being experimented on, and you keep watching your friend blobs get experimented on, and they get, keep getting mutated and demolished by human scientists. So you get kind of fed up and ticked off at the scientists, you escape the lab, you set your blob friends free, and then you go off on a journey across six areas to devour humanity, enact your revenge, and then destroy the universe. Yeah, pretty awesome. So the gameplay is that it's a 2D platformer, and obviously I'm a retro and modern gamer, so I grew up in the 80s where 2D platforming reigned supreme, and they hold a special place in my heart, so I was pretty excited about that. So you play as a mutant blob across six different maps and over 20 levels, and the goal of each level is, for one, obviously not to die, and for two, to devour anything that gets in your way of acting and acting revenge. So you kind of go throughout each map devouring small things and then bigger things, including humans, and you grow from being small to large. Now, each level is marked off in sections, and these sections are, are kind of blocked with corks, kind of like wine bottle corks. And you get large enough in a certain area to be able to devour that cork and move on to the next area. Now you have a lot of tools at your disposable. Um, disposable, that doesn't make sense. You have a lot of tools at your disposal. And since you're a mutant, you get uh, certain cool things, such as a jetpack, which allows you to rely on uh, flying around and collecting different things throughout the air. You also get magnetism, which any glowing purple metal you can magnetize yourself to or use it to propel yourself off of. Um, so the gameplay offers a lot of variety. It mixes a multitude of what has made great 2D platformers in the past, such as the wall jump and minor puzzles, and then also adds in some mutant abilities such as the jet propulsion and the magnetism to spice it all up. There's also bonus levels in each world map. Um, most of these bonus worlds use the tilt-based controls, the accelerometer in the PS Vita, but um, the rest of the game doesn't use that. So it's only kind of if you're in the mood for that, they wanted to take advantage of it with the bonus levels. Probably the only thing I would change about the gameplay of this game is the difficulty. It's not that hard. One level of difficulty um, when you die, and then you kind of start real close to where you died. And so I was able to complete the game in roughly five hours of, or less. Now, in all fairness to Drinkbox, it is a portable, downloadable title, and you can pick it up and accomplish something in five minutes, so that's kind of nice when you're on the go. And you can also go back and play through the game, because in each level there are two bonus mutants to collect, and they're really challenging to find. So there is some replay value with that and the online leaderboard feature. Now, the controls of the game are also very key. They're spot on which is key to any 2D platformer. They're responsive, and that's enough said. They really work. Now there's also some touchpad interface in the back. You know, the PS Vita has the touchpad on the back, but I never really had to use that to complete the game. The favorite part of this game in the control section for me was how it combined the physical controls and the touchscreen controls. They really nailed using both of them, which is a question I had when I purchased the Vita. Would games be able to use both properly? Well, I hope more companies look at Drinkbox and say yes, you can do that and this is how it's done. As far as graphics are concerned, they're fun, modern, cartoonish graphics. They mix it up with light and dark levels in different locations. Not as beautiful as maybe like a Rayman Origins, but still really cool for a downloadable title. In conclusion, at the beginning, I mentioned this game is only $7.99 and I'm not joking. Tales from Space, Mutant Blobs Attack is a fantastic 2D platformer that should not be passed up, especially if you're looking for a Vita launch title. Don't go dropping 50 bucks on, on, a, on a different one. Instead, drop $8 and get hours of fun for this wonderful, wonderful gem. Hours of great 2D platforming action at one low price. It's a great game with very little, little to complain about. Make sure you pick it up today.